First Chronicles 24, 4, and 5. These are the, these were, there were more chief men found in the sons of Elsner, which is a priest, than the sons of Amathar, which was the other priest that both the sons of Aaron divided into these two groups. Thus they were divided. The sons of Elsner were 16 heads of the father's houses. That means there were 16 sons of Elsner that divided into them groups as high priests. And the sons of Amathar, according to their father's houses, eight. So the one group was twice as much as the other. Um, so they divide it as such. One group would have been given more responsibility at this time because they had more people and everybody had a part to serve. We as Christians may be blessed with many. We may be blessed with a small fellowship, but that doesn't neglect that our part, we still supposed to do our part. Oftentimes we take on more than we should. Because other people ain't doing their part. So it's evenly divided because of this. Evenly divided, which meant the one with more people had more to do. They didn't have any more to do than the one person. Each person had to do the same. It's just that one group had more people, so they had more to do overall. Because they had more people to do it with. And thus, verse 5, Thus were they divided impartially, by drawing lots, for there were princesses of the sanctuary, princes of God, both the sons of elders and the sons of Emthar. Which that refers to the fact that both groups are set apart to be high priests to God. So they divide who does what by casting lots is what that determines. And casting lots, while it may not be biblical foresight, oftentimes it was done. The Bible never condemns it. But it never says cast lots either. But either way, this is how they chose and saw God's will done at times. We today don't need to cast lots. We got the Holy Spirit in us to guide us. We got His Word. And we got prayer. 